I'm Jake Peter, and today I'm going to show you how to have on-screen YouTube subscription alerts. And so if you look in the bottom right, this is what we're going to end up with by the end of this tutorial. So now that we know what we're getting ourselves into, you're going to want to open up your email that I have here that's tied to your YouTube gaming account. You're then going to want to come up to the settings bar and then click settings. You're going to want to then click into your labels and create a new label. We'll name it subs. This is just to show you what you'll be using this folder for. You're then going to want to come over here to filters and then you're going to create new filter. We're going to want these emails to only be from no reply at youtube.com and we want the subject to say has subscribed to you because whenever you get an email about someone subscribing it'll include the words has subscribed you'll say like for example, if I subscribed, you would say, Jake Peter has subscribed to you on YouTube. So this is just enough for it to catch it fast. And that's all we need. So we then create filter with the search. We're then going to want to apply the label subs and create the filter. So now you'll want to open up that label that you opened up over here. And the only emails you'll ever get here are whenever you get a new subscription from that point on. It won't take anything that's already qualified for this label, but don't worry, you'll still be able to get anything. As you can see here, these are all the people that have subscribed to me since I opened up my own filter. We'll come back in here to my filter just to show what's going on, and you're going to want to open up your OBS. We'll throw that on over here, and you're going to want to come into your scene. If you're only using one scene, never. You can do it individually in each scene, but if you want it to load a little faster, you can make a global source. Since it's practically the same thing, we're just going to create it in our scene here. So you want to create a window capture, and then you're going to want to make sure you choose the window that has whatever your label is called. Since mine's subscriptions, it'll say subscriptions here. And we're going to want to click subregion, select region, and your email will change like the way it's filed, depending on how big of a screen it is. So you'll wanna do something like I have so that you can quickly check back your subs or have your phone out to check subs that you may not catch. But then what I do is I create the subregion of this. Unfortunately for me, it does not like to keep the subregion whenever I close and open the window on OBS. So sometimes I have to do the subregion each time I start the stream, which can be unfortunate. So we have this, and then you're just going to want to sometimes tab the button here. But here we'll see at the very top left, and then we'll make it bigger. And then voila, we have Gear Change has subscribed to you on YouTube. Now as you can see over here, it's a varying length, but for me personally, I put it down way over here, and then I block some of it. People know, for the most part, what you have, and so when they see their name here. They don't really care what they see past that point. One big issue with this is that only people that have a public subscription list will show up. And I found about a third of the people that have subscribed to me do not have it automatically set up, but that's each person individually. It's nothing you can do yourself. So unfortunately, not everyone will show up with this method, but until we get proper API, this is how we're going to have to do it. If you want to see mine, We'll come over here, and I have it already labeled on screen way down over there in my bottom right corner, and I have it all looking nice. To get it so that it's like transparent but not too transparent, I use a color key of basic white and a similarity of 30 with a blend of 60, and I found that to be the best way to have the text be transparent but not too transparent. After doing all that, see, we'll see it's uh, transparent if we move it all around. And when it's not on that color, you can see it a little bad. But with the current color I have, the way it looks, perfectly fine. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to get a YouTube gaming sub alerts. If you like what I've done here today, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and to share it with all of your other streamer friends. And also, please feel free to come check out my stream because 
I would love to know how this sub alert is working for you. I'll link to the sub count alert uh, done by Blucifer down in the description below. So if you want to have something that shows off how many current subscribers you have, that works and it's automatic. Uh, 